Hello everybody, Matt here and welcome to my fragrance obsession. In this episode, I'm going to be unwrapping a fragrance which I actually purchased today from my local shopping centre. And I'm also going to be doing an impression on this fragrance. Now, I have actually smelled this fragrance before, but I will be going over how I think it smells and what I think of it. So, please stay tuned everybody and we will talk about this amazing fragrance. This is a fragrance by Amenegildo Zenia and this is called Womo. Now, I went out today because today's my birthday, the 9th of March. 2016 and uh, I did not want to come home without buying a fragrance or something so I went into this uh, department store so I picked up this fragrance and I paid an amazing 23 pounds for this fragrance this is a 50 ml bottle but uh, it was originally 47 pounds so there's a it's pretty much half price so very very decent price in my opinion so we're gonna turn to this fragrance and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think of it so here we go. So I might as well take the price thing off. Whatever. That dog never stops barking. Okay guys, so I've just unwrapped this box and uh, let me give you a little bit of a presentation of what it looks like up close. Now, I do not know what this camera is going to be like once this video is uploaded, but uh, right now I can actually just see that uh, this box has really kind of like these really small rigid lines going right the way across it. So it's really nice and when you put your hand down you can really you can really feel it. It's really really nice. We get Womo there in the middle in embossed black writing. We also get Amenegildo Zenia across the top there in black writing embossed. Out of toilet, natural spray, 1.7 ounce, 50 mil. The fragrance itself is made in Switzerland, so really cool. So, Imenegildo Zenia Parfums Distribution, New York, New York. Yeah. So, there's nothing really going on on the sides. Apart from on the sides, we do get this shiny card, which is really nice, like, really nice feel. And uh, we also get the, the name of the house there on the top. So, yeah, let's tear into this box. I'm actually really excited to see what this bottle looks like. Because obviously I've seen the bottle, I've, I know what it looks like and stuff, but I just want to see what it looks like for myself. Oh, now we're talking. Now, this is the bottle. Beautiful. This is a really, really beautiful bottle. Really nice design. Yeah, really, really like this. Um, Menegeldo Zenia on the top there, and we get a Womo there on the bottom. I really like that. Uh, actually, looks like it's got a really, really good atomizer as well. Obviously, I cannot smell it yet because it hasn't been sprayed. But uh, let's smell it. Let's check that. Yeah, it should be fine. Very good spray, guys. It may squirt a little bit, but uh, it's it actually does spray very well. So, okay, so straight away, what I get straight off the top is I get this kind of very boozy, kind of very um, spicy, citrus, kind of metallic bergamot sort of smell. I'm also getting a bit of vetiver as well, kind of like a grassy sort of smell, really nice. Even though it's got that spicy kind of uh, metallic smell, I'm also getting this kind of bright smell from it as well. Um, really, really nice. Really, really nice. Now, in 2007, the company of Imanigeldo Zenia actually released um, a fragrance called Zenia uh, Intenso, which is, I don't, I don't know if it's a flanker of an original Zenia fragrance or something, but that one came out in 2007 and apparently it's a really nice fragrance. Now, I actually do really like this fragrance. I think that it does have a lot to offer. Before actually uh, unboxing this fragrance and actually just wanting to smell it properly, um, I did look on base notes and I did get a lot of kind of, there was a lot of kind of mutual reviews on this fragrance on there. A lot of people said that it was synthetic. I do get a synthetic vibe, if I'm honest with you. It does. It doesn't really smell natural, I guess. But I think it's it's just a very clean scent, and I do think that it's very casual, and uh, I don't really think you'll get compliments with it, really. You might actually get compliments, but uh, it does smell really, really good, and I'm really, really happy with this fragrance. It's just got a nice vibe to it, very clean, peppery, very sharp opening, but uh, after a while, I can really tell that it dies down to something really beautiful, and I'm getting that kind of citrus sort of bergamot, black pepper sort of vibe but um 
It's definitely a leathery scent. It's very uh, suede, musk sort of smell, but it's not like a dark musk fragrance. This is, I would say, more kind of like a white musk sort of scent. Yeah, that's probably what I would say. It's it's very nice. I would highly recommend you check this fragrance out because it is discounted quite a lot at the minute. So yeah, guys, this has been my review for Womo by Amenagildo Zenia. I believe I'm pronouncing the name right, but this fragrance came out in 2013. So it's been out for three years now, and I really, really like this fragrance, and I'm really happy with it. So, so yeah, guys, uh, today is my birthday, and I've had a really good day. I'm really happy that I bought this fragrance. So please stay tuned, guys, and I'll definitely keep you updated. So thank you very much for watching this episode of My Fragrance Obsession. It's been for Womo. Bye, Menegildo Zenya. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves and keep smelling good. Gotta keep smelling good. Thank you. Bye-bye.